My name is Marko Keskinen and I work as an associate professor at Aalto University on water resources management and policy. Today I will tell you about the linkages that water and sustainability have. There are three points I want to make today. First, to discuss how water links to sustainability and sustainable development. Uh, secondly, we discuss how water links to the climate change, both in terms of climate change mitigation and climate change adaptation. And thirdly, I talk how everything is, after all, not just about water, but that we need comprehensive views and we need to understand linkages between different themes. The first thing was about water and sustainability. Uh, when we talk about sustainability, we often talk also about the process of sustainable development. And water links to the development in two main ways. First of all, there is clean water and sanitation, which has a very close link to health and well-being. Without clean water, there simply cannot be health living in this planet. And while here in Water Rich Finland, we have plenty of water resources and we have good access to safe uh, drinking water. There are still hundreds of millions of people in developing countries that lack access to either self-drinking water or sanitation or even both. This is a major challenge both for sustainability and development. The second aspect that links water and sustainability is then linked to broader issue of water resources. In this blue planet, around 1% and 1% only of all water is easily available as fresh water for, water for human use. And when we talk about human use, only a sm small part of the water is actually used for drinking. But large chunk, from 70 to 90% of all water, is used for food production. This also means that when we talk about water scarcity, and lack of water. The question really is not how much water we drink, but really how to eat less water. Water links also to other uses, uh, such as energy production through bioenergy and hydropower, navigation, recreational purposes, and also importantly, of course, to the environment and nature and ecosystem. Without water and the eternal hydrological cycle in this planet, we wouldn't have the environment and nature around us. And that would obviously mean not really sustainable living in this green and blue planet. The second point I'm going to talk to you is links to climate change and, and the role water has in that. First of all, we must note that climate change is the sustainability challenge of our uh, generation. We, there is a burning need for us to address the challenge of climate change and especially talking about climate change mitigation which is to how to reduce uh, the greenhouse gas emissions in this planet and do that rapidly. In terms of climate change mitigation the key obviously is the energy and the energy transition. We need to move to uh, non-fossil fuel based renewable energy production whether it's about housing transportation, heating or electricity production. And here, again, water has a surprisingly important uh, role to play. Uh, because of the renewable energy, majority is currently produced either as a bioenergy or as a hydropower, which is particularly important for elect electricity uh, production. And both of them, obviously, are hugely dependent on water. And at the same time, they actually also uh, our water uses, so they mean water is being used for energy production and it's away from some other uses such as food production. So that is the first linkage that water has with climate change. Secondly, we need to talk about climate change adaptation given that the climate is going to change and it's going to have major implications both to nature and us humans and our societies. We need to understand how to adapt to climate change and all implications except the direct consequences of, of uh, warming come through the changes in water cycle, the hydrological cycle. So we need to understand 
how the water cycle is going to change due to climate change and how it impacts, uh, for example, floods and droughts and extreme weather events su uh, such as uh, cyclones and, and hurricanes. At the same time, we need to understand how changing climate affects our uh, ability to produce food in this planet. It, climate change changes the availability and seasonal availability of water, which then affects the way we are able to produce food. And this is one of the major challenges for climate change adaptation. So I have now gone through the first two points of my presentation, which was how water links to the sustainability and how water links to climate and climate change. The third point I want to make that it's not all water only. When talking about sustainability, and sustainable development, we need to understand that things link together. So when we, for example, talk about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, so-called SDGs, they provide a nice set of uh, goals, put in nice boxes according to different sectors. There are loads of goals, targets and indicators, which basically means, or may mean, that by achieving all those goals, Simultaneously, we also uh, achieve sustainability. That may not hold true fully, however, because some of these goals and targets may actually be counterproductive to other targets that sustainable development goals have. For example, tar targets related to energy production may be counterproductive for food production and hunger reduction targets. This means that we need to also think things comprehensively and to understand the linkages that the different sectors and also the different sustainable development goals have. In terms of water, one of the key approach for this is so-called water energy food security nexus. That is an approach where we link the different uh, securities related to water, related to food and related to energy production together with an aim to find win-win solutions where none of these separate sectors would reduce the possibilities to achieve the, uh, the, our objectives in other sectors. Maintaining such comprehensive view also for sustainability at large is critical for us and that is something that I wish to finish this presentation. Thank you.